Hi, this is Sean with Lux Landscape Light, and we're talking about uh, relamping fixtures today. If you're out replacing lamps that have burned out, especially if you have the older incandescent bulbs with a filament, I highly recommend you replacing those with a newer LED bulb. The new LED lamps will last much longer. You'll get five to 10 years out of a, what we call a drop-in bulb, where you drop it into the fixture. Uh, versus these incandescent bulbs, sometimes they only last a year, maybe two years. If it's very voltage very well, you might get three years out of it, but they don't last nearly as long as LED lights. So how do we go about replacing these? Well, the first thing you need to do is take a fixture apart. All the fixtures are a little bit different. We're gonna take a look at putting a lamp in this accent light here. So I've already taken this apart. It was as simple as this collar just twisting it and it slides off. When the, you take that collar off, you'll notice there are O-rings. These O-rings are important to um, keep on the light. They protect the lamp from moisture getting inside the fixture. After many years, uh, especially with incandescent bulbs because of the heat, those things will wear out and you'll need to replace them. So this particular fixture takes an MR16 lamp this is an MR16. You may have seen these in your homes. They're fairly popular. And you'll notice there are two little prongs right here. Those are what are the contacts. That's what puts the electricity into the fixture. An important thing to do here is to put a little bit of dielectric grease. Um, this grease, you can buy at any of your big boxed hardware stores. And the thing is here, don't put a whole lot on. Just put enough on. So you'll want to put a thin coating on those prongs. So I have some of the grease coming out now. It's squirted out way too much, so I'm not going to want to use all that grease. I probably have to wipe some of that off. I'm just going to put a little bit on the fixture. See, that's just a little dab there. Uh, you might want to have a rag with you so you can clean off your fingers. I'm just going to wipe that around the ends of it so it's all covered in the grease. But again, no big, large gobs of it. You can see it. It is on the pins, but just don't do too much of it. Same with these other lights. This is a wedge-based light. It's kind of hard to see. There are little wires there. Again, I've got some on my finger. I'm just going to wipe some on each side of it uh, before I put that in the socket. It keeps the socket lubricated, keeps it from corroding, and creates a good electrical contact. This one also has a spring to push the lamp up towards the glass lens. That makes it a little bit of a challenge because you've got to get that spring and You'll see here, as I'm doing this, I may look like I've never done this before, but believe me, I have. You just have to work that socket up through the center of the spring if it has come out all the way. All right, so I've got the socket coming up through the center of the spring, and that was a bit of a challenge to do. I've put a little bit of grease on my pins. These little prongs here help hold the fixture or help hold the lamp in place. So you kind of got to push those apart and work the pins down into the socket. Just kind of rock it gently back and forth until it fits all the way down into the socket. If it's real loose, it could be that you have a bad socket. There's little springs in there that hold those pins in place. And if that's the case, you might need to replace the inner socket. Push the lamp down. You take your covering and slowly push and twist it to the lights back together. Make sure your O-ring doesn't come out of the side of the light. If the O-ring does that, you might need to put a little bit of dielectric grease on the O-ring as well to help lubricate that so that it can slide down. With all other fixtures, it's the same thing, just getting to the lamp, taking the lamp out. Again, put a little bit of dielectric grease on any of the contact points. That's the area that the electricity is uh, transferred to the bulb. And again, just put a thin little coating, take your finger and rub it on there. This is like Vaseline. You don't want a big gob of it, just a nice coating, and push these lamps into the socket. Clean up your fixture, put it back together, and you'll be good to go for five to ten years if you're using LED lights.